Good morning everyone and welcome back to another episode of uh, Pizza Time. Unfortunately, after more or less three months of usage of my electrical oven here, the spice caliente, even if it didn't explode, sadly it stopped working all of a sudden. And this happened after I tried to align a bit more the two heating elements on top here. Uh, but I think I moved one of the cables uh, near the top dome here, where basically most of the heating is. And therefore I think my thermal fuse burned out and must be replaced. Or maybe also removed. But first of all, we will be doing some troubleshooting in order to really see if the problem is on the thermal fuse or maybe something else. The original thermal fuse on these uh, type of ovens uh, supports temperatures up to uh, 240 degrees Celsius. And this is usually fine, especially if it's placed in the lower section here of the oven. But in my case, it's on top. So it's recommended to move it uh, as far as possible uh, from the steel dome or replace it with a more powerful one. Most of the people prefer to remove the thermal fuse completely, but in this video I will show you how to replace it in case you guys will encounter the same issue I had. The whole procedure is extremely simple, very cheap and quick. It will take less than 10 minutes overall. So we will start with the troubleshooting and then we will be replacing the thermal fuse as I am 100% sure that's the issue I have here of the oven not turning on anymore. Ok, here is my oven, it doesn't turn on anymore. As you can see here, I bought two new thermal fuse. So this should be fixing the issue. I paid just $3 for this too. But first of all, what is a thermal fuse? In case you guys don't know, it's basically a safety device which opens the circuits against overheat. So the default one you can find in this type of ovens is uh, 240 degrees so this one uh, is more powerful 300 degrees usually if you put all the cables and the uh, thermal fuse on the bottom section there shouldn't be any issues but obviously on the top here we have the two thermal resistance so that's where most of the heat will go and so I simply need a more powerful thermal fuse. All the cables will remain isolated so that we don't have any issues with overheating the electrical cables. Now let's open our oven. Okay, and this should be the section where we have our thermal fuse. Should be hidden here. Here it is. So we can try to replace this one. Before replacing as a test, you can try to bypass it and test if everything is working, just to make sure that this is the issue and not something else. And this is the old thermal fuse. You can probably read 240 degrees. We connect this directly without any thermal fuse and we check just if it's working. Okay, we can immediately see that the LED is on now. So that was really our issue. Now we can decide if we leave it like this without any thermal fuse or add one. For safety reasons, I will add the one that I just bought. Now, in order to connect the thermal fuse to our electrical wires, 
We're gonna need some uh, Baston terminals. I have these two here, but you can also find smaller ones. And they will be connected exactly like the original ones. So let's try to do that. First of all, I need to cut the excess. We are going to connect the thermal fuse in one section and our wire in the other one. Okay, first fast on is connected. Now let's move to the second one. I'm gonna reuse the same cable. Okay, that's connected. Now we insert again our uh, glass fiber sleeve for thermal protection. Now just our terminal. Now I will test it quickly and we can close everything back together. Okay, we'll just turn it on just for a second. We just need to check if the LED will turn on. So we know that it's working. Okay, we can see the LED on. Okay, we are done. Now for the final test. Let's check now. Okay. We are over 450 degrees on the stone. Okay, now we should be around 500 degrees. And now we should be beyond 500 degrees. Okay, we are at 510. I think we can stop here. The oven is working just fine. The pizza dough I'm preparing here is a quick one. It's a Nautilus based one and quite quick as it takes just eight hours but with great results. I'll upload a video of the full procedure showing how to do that in the next few weeks. And now I'll show you how the pizza was cooked after the replacement of the thermal fuse. The bottom is also well cooked as you can see, even if we don't have any heating element under the stone. So we can see that I raised the stone temperature from my usual 420, 450 degrees up to 500 degrees Celsius or more during the test and the new thermal fuse is working just fine. As mentioned, you can also completely remove it as many others do so 
but I prefer honestly to keep this safety lid device when reaching high temperatures. I hope this video helped you guys. Uh, if so, it would be appreciated if you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below as usual if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching, happy modding everyone and see you in the next video.